Vendor Tech is in touch. Today we are going to discuss internal transfer menu. First of all, let's open it. And the first thing we need to do is to choose a warehouse. As a user, I have access to two warehouses, but I need to work only in one of them. Remember, if you have a vendor configuration application, you can make a default warehouse per every user you have inside your system. And that saves a lot of time for you. So you don't need to choose a warehouse anymore inside the application. So here, this menu was literally developed to move one item from one location to another, as simple as that. So let's try to move something right now. First of all, I need to scan a shelf one as a location from where I want to move an item. Then I'm scanning the item I'm going to move. It's a blue cap. I have two out of two on this location. Two out of two is available. And I'm going to move it to the shelf number three. I'm scanning it as simple as that. Remember, you can adjust the quantity using the virtual keyboard. So here in my configuration, I make it possible to hide this keyboard when I need it. So I'm going to move only one item. So I'm clicking confirm. And this is it. As simple as that. In case if you need to move an entire package, you need to scan a package first without scanning a product. So let's scan one of our packages. In our case, it's a pack 352. So as this package is placed only in one location, shelf 2, I don't need to scan a location. It's automatically filled in in the first field. So now I can do two things. I can scan the destination location and if I do need, I simply move the entire package from one location to the new one. In case if I'm going to scan a product that is placed inside this package, I will be able to move product from a package. So in our case, I want to move the entire package. I need to scan only a location. So let's scan location. It shows free. The analysis fields are hidden from the interface right now, and we can see only the needed one. So we're going to move pack 352 from shelf 2 to shelf 3. I'm clicking confirm, and this is it. As simple as that. Now let's check up a settings. Click on three dots, settings. Here you can see a lot of different settings. Please check it out and read the description under the ever settings here and you can get information. Do you need to activate it or not? With settings, you can adjust the application according to your business flow. So the setting I am looking for is a move multiple items. I want to show you how to move multiple items at once rather than moving it one by one as we see before. Let's click back. Now you see the interface we updated. So I'm going to scan two items to move it at the same time. Scanning blue cap. Here you can see that we need to scan a location to confirm from where we're going to grab this item. Shelf one. And the second product. Grew started from the shelf two. Now I can click on three dots and click move to choose the location manually or I can simply scan the new destination location I want to move these two items. It will be shelf 3. Here you can see the message moving items to shelf 3 and I'm clicking move. And this is it. All products were moved to location shelf 3. As simple as that. That is it for today, so now you have a good understand how to use your internal transfer somewhere menu inside our application. Feel free to comment uh, this on YouTube under this video and we will answer all your questions. Have a good day, bye bye.